Um, my name is Benji Zacharias. I am 22 years old and I've been riding scooters for close to 10 years now. And um, I ride for QC Scooters out of Montreal and do riding for Olay Brand. <laughs> I grew up playing a lot of like intense like um, team sports and stuff, which was really fun. But I kind of I, I always hated like practices and like having like a coach to like tell me exactly what to do. And I just kind of wanted to play the game. So I think that scootering has kind of like given me an outlet that's like athletic, but it's also creative and it's kind of on my own terms. Like I can kind of go to the park for as long as I want to. I can, you know, choose who I'm doing it with. I can. Um, you know, film videos that are kind of more of an expression of myself than like hockey or soccer ever was. Um, and yeah, it just kind of allows me to like kind of zone in and focus on something outside of my regular life for like an extended period of time. And it's fun to just, um, yeah, to find something like this that I, I love to do and I, it's never really wavered. I've kind of always loved to do it and, um, yeah, haven't gotten tired of it for 10 years, so it's not looking like it's going away anytime soon. I think the most important thing and, like, one of the coolest parts of, like, any action sports community is just, like, um, like I said before, you kind of get to choose who you do it with, and um, and there's really no, like, us versus them, like, in other sports. Like, I've always loved, like, watching edits and... You know, you see somebody land a trick and, like, the celebration is one of the most, like, important parts of the whole video. Or even, like, in any, like, skate or scooter or bike contests, um, like, everybody's rooting for the other person. And it's, a, like, it's a lot less so, like, I ride for this company, so, like, I hate this guy. and Or, like, I, I, I'm part of this crew, so I hate this crew. Like, it's just, like, everybody's pretty much, like, rooting for everybody else. And I think that's really special and that's pretty unique to... Um, to scootering, but not just to scootering, to, like, action sports in general. I think that, like, every rider in Manitoba or in, like, a Manitoba-adjacent place, like, understands this so deeply that, like, we only have a certain amount of time. And it, like, it feels weird, but it just feels, like, normal. Like, I can't imagine living in a place like L.A. where I could just ride, like, there, there's no cutoff point. And I think that, that, that actually sounds kind of strange to me. Like, it's... There's this sense of urgency when you're filming a video or even just whenever you're riding skate parks where, like, as soon as the snow is melting, like, you're at a park and you're shoveling and you're just, like, you want the season to start so bad. And, like, I've just always had that. And then, like, at the end of the season, you're, like, looking out the window, being, like, seeing all the leaves falling off. Like, you're seeing, like, the first little flecks of snow and you're just, like, I need to get over one last session. So I've always had that. And it does feel weird and it, I feel like losing your tricks in the winter really sucks and it's a very real thing to kind of get your knees stronger like whenever the season starts but I think it does kind of help you in a way um not take for granted the riding time that you have in the summer and like so whenever you're at the park like in the back of your head like subconsciously you're just like I need to make the most of this like I need to learn something new I need to push because like if we had summer all year round like I think that um, there's way more of a chance of you just like half-assing a session and just like not really trying to learn something because like you're never going to lose it. But like I think everybody who's in Manitoba in a place that snow is like, you know, like <laughs> once it's getting into those later months, like this could be the last session. Every session could be the last one. So you got to make it count. Or even like filming a video, like, you know, there's much more of a chance this is going to be like a year or two long project because like, you just never know. So it, it does kind of add a sense of urgency and it helps you to not take take for granted the, the bare concrete whenever it's here, for sure. Looking back at kind of like the early days of my riding, I, I lived in a small city called Portes La Prairie. They didn't really have a skate park. So I was, I loved like watching Mad Gear Flat Scoot. That was like my thing. And that's like when I fell in love with like Tommy Christiana's riding. And I just wanted to have all my tricks on flat because, like, because he, because Tommy could do them on flat and I wanted to kind of, like, utilize my driveway because I didn't really have a skate park. So that was, like, the perfect kind of, um, the perfect kind of 
North Star to have is like watching Tommy just kill it in these contests. So that was kind of my first thing that I really fell in love with. And then as I kind of started to come into the big city more and have, um, I had like parks to ride. I loved the idea of being like, like a diverse rider. And like, so Jonathan Peroni really was like my guy for a while. And like the whole French scene, I loved like that they were doing like park tricks in the streets kind of. And looking back, like, it's kind of funny. Some of, like, those French riders didn't really have the best style, but I just, like, loved, like, seeing, like, quad whips and buttercups in the streets. Um, and then kind of coming back to more recently, as I've kind of been trying to find a style that feels better and a little bit more, like, mature or grown up, I feel like I kind of gravitate more towards, like, specific videos as opposed to specific riders. So I, like, watching Parrish Isaac's videos has been a big eye opener for me just seeing how he chooses his spots really carefully and he's really calculated with like it, it's 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 kind of become more of an art form in my mind than a sport um so even guys like again like I've kind of come back around to like loving watching Tommy Christiana ride and just like seeing the way that you can choose your tricks tastefully and it's not always just like like, what's the hardest trick I can do at this spot? Or what's, like, can I just add, can I add one more tail whip into this combo? It's, like, no, like, what would look good here? What would, like, feel good to ride away from? What's a clip that I'm going to look back on and think, like, like, that just, like, it looked good and I remember that feeling. So, yeah, I think that, like, as I've grown, it's become less of, like, a sport mentality and more of, like, how can I make this cool and how can I kind of take what's in my head and, like, like bring it out to like my riding and my filming and guys like Tommy Christiana and Parrish Isaacs um, and even Dakota Knight, he films a lot of outset stuff like that really kind of inspires me and kind of gets me stoked to, to do something new and to, to ride and film. As I was talking about earlier, um, filming over the last couple of years has become a big passion of mine and a big interest and like not even just in scootering. Like I, I've been watching so many, like snowboard videos and skate videos. And I think that like those, both of those um, facets have like really, really sick art direction, especially snowboarding. So I've kind of found, um, yeah, like a newfound interest in like filming snowboarding, even though I'm not a snowboarder myself, like just kind of finding how I can, how I can do that. And that makes the winters a lot more interesting. And it kind of, um, yeah, like works a different creative muscle than, than scootering or filming scootering does because you, you're out shoveling a spot at like one in the morning just to kind of try to ride a ledge and it's like it's 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 pretty fun so like watching snowboarding for the past couple of years has been a big interest of mine um and apart from any action sports stuff um like I'm going into or I'm, I'm in the social work program at Booth University so that's been a big um shift in my life I was gonna do education and now I'm doing social work so that's it's fun to be in a program that doesn't really feel like a chore like I'm just really interested in it and I like it a lot so that's been that's been fun and that takes a lot of my time outside of like just kind of like my f more fun hobbies like scootering or or filming so other than that that takes up most of my time <laughs> fingerboarding <laughs> It's kind of fun being one of, like, the older guys in the scene now, especially as there's just recently kind of been, like, an influx of, like, riders, like, younger riders who actually want to do something with scootering, who are actually, like, working towards progression and who want to get better and who care about style and all this stuff. Like, it's kind of cool to see, like, a fresh, a fresh batch <laughs> arising. So I think at this point, it's something that I haven't had to really think about until until very recently is like how do I want to influence these guys and I think that it's important to like be the kind of rider who is like you know pushing myself and then more like specifically kind of like me and like some of my other friends who are older filming videos I really hope inspires this next generation to kind of push for that because whenever I was growing up it was a lot of like you gotta film insta edits you gotta film insta edits and now to have an older generation who's more focused on filming real videos and focused on like kind of a more artistic approach to scootering. I think that's really important and that's really special because I didn't have that growing up really. So 
it's kind of cool to get the opportunity to give that back to, to some younger guys who I know are going to do really cool things.